Oh, oh, oh yeah. Here with the Rosine 24V. Got the hitch on the back. Got the tow package installed with the roll pan. Video on how to do that is in my uh, YouTube. All my YouTube, I mean. We're gonna be doing something on Rosine that I'm kind of excited to see how it works. It's actually a train horn or a complete set horn tech air horn for trucks. And it's got like pictures of these giant big rigs, right? And then it's got this little tiny horn, little motor thing or whatever it is. I don't really know what it is, but it says it's a complete kit. So we'll see we'll see what this is all about and we're gonna see what this thing sounds like because I'm not sure how this is a complete kit really but we're gonna see how this works we've got wiring already ran for an old light bar that she had on here which is right here behind the bumper so we might actually try to mount it behind there and the wiring is already ran up into the cab with a switch right there and as you can see the light turns on when you flip it um, it's already got power ran to it so we're gonna get to seeing how this works and see if we can get a train horn installed and I actually already filmed an entire video on this truck about an hour ago but my mic has taken a crap on me so like it's like randomly cutting in and out and grabbing pieces of audio and like popping and crackling and so I had to take my mic off so the audio still might not be like a hundred percent with no mic at all but the mic was just it was going bad and uh, I've had it for three years now I've had that mic on this camera so you know it's uh it's it's done several hundred videos at this point not all things last forever so we're gonna get to seeing if we can get this on here but I had filmed the whole video started editing it and I'm like this sucks so I'm gonna have to just film a different video so that's where this comes into play which we've actually had sitting around for about I want to say two or three years I don't know nothing about these horns but I'm just gonna plug the positive to the positive, negative to the negative, and see what happens. Hide my freaking switch turned on. Now, that's just dangling there for testing purposes before it will actually fasten everything. It's just sitting on some old valance bumper, plastic valance bolts that are sticking up out of there from holding on the old valance that's no longer on the bumper. So we're gonna. We're gonna see how this thing sounds when you flip the switch. Keep in mind, this is a super, super cheap air horn. That's freaking awesome. That thing actually sounds really good. That thing is so freaking loud. I'm impressed, holy crap. Well, I'm actually gonna fasten that in place then where we want it and then mount that small motor and uh, we might have to do a little more testing with this. I don't know if I can really get this to focus, but we decided to mount the horn part at least, as you can see, inside the actual bumper. Now this is kind of like just a test because I really ain't gonna be keeping this bumper very long. We used one of the previous holes. I believe it was this one, right? They both were. Oh, they both were? Okay, so they were both previous holes. So all we have basically to work with is this right here, and we're trying to figure out where to mount this because it also can't be too far because it has to hook up obviously to this tube to work. So we're trying to figure out a perfect area for that. Baby's not enjoying this process. But this is like a $20 horn. I don't know if I told you. 20 or $30 horn and we'll put the Amazon link below. But I did hear it from inside when he tested it. So we'll see if we can get this mounted and figured out. You, no you think I don't look terrible right now? They don't, do they know that I have the vid? I had the vid the last five days, girl, I look awful. Hey, we've all got the vid, all these all vaccinated. <sighs> Passing around anyway. the extra spike to vid, protein, DNA, whatever. So we ended up just using basically the holes that were already in the bumper. And I think we used two of the original bolts, correct? Yeah, this is original bolt. And this one right here. Nope, this is original oh. one. And then this is a okay. hole that was there, but we used a bolt that we yeah. had we'll have to paint that black. Yeah. But like I said, this isn't the bumper that I'm actually keeping, so we're just going to test this out for right now. And then we already had the wire harness, I don't know if you told them. Yeah, from, from a light my, bar. Yeah, my light bar that we had installed. I do miss my light bar, but I thought this would be kind of a fun video because it's literally been sitting in a box. I think three probably, years. Probably since we got engaged. Yeah. Well, so not so, three years. Probably like two. Getting, getting up there two and a half. So we're going to do a quick test for you guys, see if it's allowed and uh, 
We'll put a link down in the below and it, like for our Amazon because I believe this was like either between 20 or 30 bucks. And there's actually a guy that already did a YouTube video on installing this into a Chevy and he had a really good review on it. So if you guys like it, Malika will leave the link down below for you guys. Yeah, but there it is. It's some fine ingenuity right there. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this isn't like horn blasters where it's like under your freaking bed and it's like this huge like setup with like five horns. This is one single horn. Yeah, this so. one's this one's better, trust me. The but, cheaper, uh, the better. You got a horn right there. You got your brackets all nice and not evenly lined up. No, but it's tight. Mm -hmm. The horn's tight. Like, I'm really trying to rock it. It's not moving. Um, and then this is tight too. It's got a little wiggle to it, but. I mean, hey. Yeah. The goal is just loud enough for people to know to get out of your way. Well, being stupid. yeah, and for mounting it, for mounting it, I just wanted to mount it enough so it wasn't going to fall off right. if it stays on there a while. But, well, I guess you didn't see in the previous video because I couldn't use any of the footage. But we're going to be changing out the bumper on this truck and probably either getting a chrome fourth gen or a sport and paint matching it. So we're not keeping this bumper, but I just wanted to get the horn on it to do the video to test it just to kind of see what it sounds like before we go into putting it on yeah. the other bumper and it ends up not sounding good at all. A custom grill that's been sitting there for almost now a year. Yeah. It's a $500 custom grill. Give her the, <laughs> give her the good old I got toot toot, you know? <laughs> You're gonna get it. Or you could just get to the side of the hood and do one of these where you go, oh, Ow. here we go, here we go, and just, oh, oh, pull no, it back. No, now you're getting your dirty fingerprints on. Uh, well, uh, at least I didn't break my nails trying to pull the grill. <laughs> I didn't break it. Well, you almost did. There you go. Are you sure that's slammed enough? That's a second gen, baby. <laughs> Cut that part out. What? I'll get all these jokes on. You can't close the freaking door. The front lift on this is seven and a half inches. Isn't that right, Marsh? Marsh, that's a big truck. He ain't phased by this hood. Watch the cat. Hit it, babe. Hit it. Hit the horn. <laughs> Scared me more than cat. Vinkel like wasn't phased. I like jumped. Yeah, start it up. Take it on the road. Give her the beam. Yes, sir. That cat still ain't moved. Freaking just got coal dumped on its face. There it goes. I know, Marsh, we gotta move, gotta move. You enjoy your little ducky movies. So she's actually gonna do a driving by horn honk here and see how it sounds on the road. This is with my bad mic too, keep in mind. Not too bad. Now it don't sound like no Monster Max horn, but it sounds pretty good for $25. So what do you guys rate the sound of this? I don't even know what it is, 20 or $30, $25. Horn. What do you think? What do you think? Compared to the stock one, what do you think? <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's like, I'm sick of the movie. I want to see the truck. You and me both. What do you think? <gasps> Certified big it's rig? It's loud, but like when you're going down the road, like I was going, like getting up to speed, Yeah. it's, it's not as loud in the cab. Yeah. Even with the windows down, but when you're outside, it's, is it pretty loud when I'm passing by? It's, I mean, 
your truck is super loud when you're yeah, revving it up. Easy. When you're revving your truck up, it, you know. But yeah, I mean, it's it's louder than your stock horn. It's way louder than your stock horn. I mean, this kind of buzzes your eardrums a little bit when you honk it and you're within 10, 15 feet. I don't know, what would you rate it? Scale of one to 10 for the money, for the budget, for the budget, not out of all the horns out there. From a one to 10, one, one out of 10, what do you rate it for the budget of 20 to $30 for that horn? Probably, I would say, I would be pretty kind to it, say probably nine, the only faults I like, don't like is it doesn't come with the hardware to yeah. like mount it. And, but I, I personally don't want something like too obnoxious because it's not like a SEMA truck or something, you know, like it's just for fun really. And just enough for people to hear me, you know. I think it sounds really good for the money. I mean, personally. I mean, I mean for 20, 30 me, bucks. I mean, it sounds really good. Super easy, you know, concept. Uh, the only downfall would be, yeah, the mounting brackets and all that. And you also have to purchase a wire harness if you don't have one, it doesn't come with it. So that would Are be, you sh it didn't? Are you sure? No, I don't think so. Okay. So that would be kind of my only two faults for it. But other than that, I think it, it I think it's worth the money. And for me personally, I've never had any other train horns on anything, so I can't really compare it that well. But if I had to take a guess, I have heard other people's like when we were at the Whistling Diesel meet, you heard other people blowing theirs, whatever. And I've heard other ones like on videos and stuff. But if but like I'm talking about for the money, not like out of the horn blasters and real train horns. I'm not talking about that because obviously it's a thirty dollar horn, people. Give it a break. You know, I ain't gonna compete with the Monster Max Quadra Triple Mega Train I don't know how but many train horns he said he put on his new one. Mount, like semi horns on their like Like trucks. well like train horn train horns. Yeah, like, like yeah, yeah. So like just just be considerate of that. It's obviously you can't keep it up to that standard. But <laughs> for 20, 30 bucks, I say for 30 bucks. I'm giving it a nine out of 10 too. I mean, I think it sounds good for, for how cheap that is. If you just want a cheap upgrade from a stock horn that sounds pretty mean. If you're trying to let somebody know they screwed up on the road or you're irritated, that will get their attention. And one last thing before we leave this segment here, this super fun, crazy train horn video, air horn video. This is your last five days to enter to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash. So if you want to get entered to win, all you got to do is go to lmpgear.com, buy anything you like on the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. If you place orders earlier on in the giveaway, you can place more orders and get even more entries. Time is running out though. Every $1, 20 entries to win. Giveaway ends on June 14th. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.